Hello everyone, and welcome to Global Village. All modern wars are mostly fought and won in the skies above the battlefields. In his Führer bunker a few days before suicide, when Hitler was asked about the reason of his defeat, Hitler said the failure of the Luftwaffe in achieving their objectives is the main reason of our defeat. And he was right. Ever since World War II, the outcome of all major conflicts are decided mostly by the superior air forces. Be it Korean War, Kosovo War, First Gulf War, the US invasion of Iraq or the NATO air war against Libya, all of these conflicts have been won purely by air forces with superior fighter jets. The US Air Force have always been one step ahead of its adversaries, but recently the China is catching up in some domains. The militaries of both countries are striving to have qualitative edge over the other. The fifth-generation fighter aircraft is one such field where both countries are pouring massive amount of investments. The US fifth-generation aircrafts are F-35 Lightning II and the F-22 Raptor, while Chinese fifth-generation fighter aircrafts are J-20 The Mighty Dragon, and its export version Shenyang J-31. China has recently deployed Chengdu J-20 The Mighty Dragon to the South China Sea, where it may ultimately face off with the US fifth-generation fighters. So let's analyze and compare the capabilities of both F-22 Raptor and Chengdu J-20. Comparison of their stealth feature. The F-22 Raptor was the first ever air superiority fighter that was designed on the concept of stealth, and even though it is 62 feet long and 44 feet wide, it has a radar cross-section of 1 1,000th of a square meter, which is the size of a bumblebee. The Chinese fifth-generation stealth fighter is an all-weather air supremacy fighter. It has a radar cross-section of 1 1 hundredth of a square meters. The Chengdu J-20 radar cross-section is larger than F-22 Raptor, it's mainly because of its canards near the cockpit. The canards are increasing the maneuverability of J-20 but at the same time it is increasing its radar cross-section. So in the stealth feature, the F-22 Raptor has an edge over the Chengdu J-20. For better understanding of stealth feature, you can watch our video on how does stealth technology works. Super Cruise Capability The F-22 Raptor was the first ever stealth aircraft that employed the Super Cruise capability, it has the ability to go Super Cruise at Mach 1.5 without using its afterburners. Whereas, the Chengdu J-20 cannot go Super Cruise with the current engine, the AL-31 engine which is currently powering the J-20 is unable to provide enough power for J-20 to go Super Cruise without using its afterburners. However, one thing needs to be noted here is, the J-20 was originally planned to be equipped with the WS-15 engine, but the development of WS-15 engine was not completed in scheduled time, which is why they temporarily equipped the J-20 with AL-31. The development of WS-15 engine will reportedly be completed in 2021. J-20 The Mighty Dragon will be able to go Super Cruise at Mach 1.8 once it's equipped with the WS-15 engine. However as of now, the F-22 Raptor has clear advantage over the J-20 in terms of Super Cruise capability. Now the comparison of their radars. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with APG-77 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. The APG-77 is a multifunctional low-probability intercept radar developed by Northrop Grumman. It is specifically designed for air superiority and strike operations. The radar of F-22 can detect a target with radar cross-section of 0.5 square meters at 175 kilometers. The specification about the J-20 radar is highly classified, and any information available in public are merely based on speculations. However it is believed that J-20 is equipped with the most advanced version of KLJ radar family. But since we don't have verified information on hand about the J-20 radar, so we won't make any comment on the range or capability of its radar based only on speculations. So we declare it a draw. Now the comparison of air-to-air -air armaments. Both F-22 and J-20 can carry a wide range of weapons, but we will only analyze their air-to-air -air armaments. The F-22 can carry eight air-to-air -air missiles internally, with two short-range and six long-range air-to-air missiles. In short-range missiles, the F-22 carry two AIM-9 missiles, the AIM-9 is a short-range air-to-air infrared homing missile that has a range between 30 to 35 kilometers. In long-range missiles, the F-22 can carry six AIM-120 long-range air-to-air missiles. 
The AIM-120 is a long-range air-to-air terminal active radar homing missile. It has a range up to 160 kilometers. Its maximum speed is Mach 4.1 and can be guided in mid-air through inertial guidance system. Whereas J-20 the Mighty Dragon can carry six air-to-air -air missiles in its internal weapons bay with two short-range and four long-range air-to-air -air missiles. In short-range missiles, the J-20 carry two PL-10 missiles. The PL-10 has operational range between 20 to 60 kilometers. It is guided by multi-element imaging infrared system and can reach to a maximum speed of Mach 4. In long ranges, the J-20 will carry two PL-15 and two PL-21 missiles. The PL-15 is an active radar-guided long-range air-to-air missile. It has operational range between 200 to 250 kilometers. It can cruise at Mach 4.1 and can be guided mid-air as well. The Chengdu J-20 can also carry two PL-21 long-range air-to-air missiles as well. The PL-21 is the longest range fire and forget air-to-air -air missiles with operational range up to 400 km. The PL-21 is boosted by a ramjet rocket engine and have a built-in active AESA radar for guidance. It is currently the longest range air-to-air -air missile in the world. So in air-to-air -air armament the J-20 have outmatched the F-22 Raptor by a huge margin. Comparison of their avionics and sensor fusion systems. The F-22 Raptor was the first ever fighter aircraft to have flown with integrated avionics and networked data fusion. Both the F-22 Raptor and J-20 the Mighty Dragon are equipped with integrated cockpit display and using a three-axis flight control fly-by-wire system. The complex systems of the F-22 requires sophisticated integration at many levels, including the sensor control, data fusion, and the components that support these function and the display which is a primary means of communication with the pilot. The Chengdu J-20 is reportedly equipped with a new generation data link system, sophisticated electronic countermeasures and an advanced electronic warfare suit. However, we lack the detail information about these sensors and avionics, as China is keeping the details of these systems in high secrecy, and the fact that pictures of its cockpit has never been made public. So gauging their exact capability and the degree of its data fusion is impossible, we cannot analyze them based on mere speculations. But based on the expertise and the vast experience of the US defense companies, we can confidently say that the F-22 Raptor's data fusion, electronic countermeasures and onboard sensors are more capable than that of J-20s. So F-22 has at least a slight edge over J-20 in advanced data fusion sensors and avionics. So which fifth generation fighter aircraft is better? Well its answer is not that simple, there are dozens of factors that determines which aircraft will fare better on the battlefield. But if we look at the capabilities of both aircrafts, then Chengdu J-20 the Mighty Dragon has outmatched the F-22 Raptor in terms of long-range air-to-air missile. The J-20's beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile has almost double the range of an F-22's missile. However, the F-22 Raptor has a clear edge over Chengdu J-20 in terms of stealth feature, senses fusion, avionics and engine. So yes the F-22 is better fifth generation fighter than J-20, based on the available information. But at the end of the day, it will be the pilots who fly these machines to the battlefield that will determine the winner. That's all on the topic for now. Give us your feedback about both aircrafts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get updates about our future videos. Take care and have a great day.